Please watch the video in high quality. This video shows how to set Mapbox Map ABI in C Sharp using the bounding box values instead of the center uh, long and lat and the zoom parameter. So it uses two points coordinate representing the uh, lower longitude and lower latitude and the upper longitude and upper latitude. Uh, using the bounding box helps to specify uh, the required map area within without worrying about uh, defining the zoom level. It's also useful to scale the map to real world dimension by using the bounding box. So uh, at the end of the video, you, we will produce a, a, a script and that script will be used in uh, Unity. Um, and so if you specify the bounding box uh, coordinates, we will get that implemented in, in a map. So we'll see that soon. Mapbox offers a free tier for each product, which allow you to use the API for free within limited request per month. So for example, the Maps uh, Static Images API would allow 50,000 free monthly requests and a pay-as-you-go billing account would receive monthly free tier and Mapbox would uh, send an email notification to the first time a free tier is exceeded during billing period. So to uh, start, you need to uh, click on Get Started. I'll leave a link to that website in the description. So click Get Started and then uh, create an, an account using uh, your credentials. And so uh, once you uh, log in, uh, create the account and log in, go to access uh, token and uh, create a, a token. If you don't have one and then uh, yeah, just enter a name for the token and uh, click on uh, create token. And then we'll use that token uh, to allow the API to uh, make the request to uh, uh, the Mapbox uh, server. So in Unity Editor, I'll right click and then uh, uh, 3D object and create to create a plane. And you could name it anything. I'll just name it Map and keep its default setting. And uh, then um, I'll create a, a, a UI a button element. So right click UI and then button text mesh pro and then import text mesh pro essentials. Okay, and uh, I'll just reposition it. So the pivot would be zero on the X, one on the Y and the anchor would be top left and we'll keep it zero on the X and zero on the Y. So it's in the top uh, left corner. So if I zoom into it, just to have a look and a bit to see how it's look. Yeah, so and I will change the text to have it as generate map. And I'll also position and orient the camera so it's look it is looking at the uh, plane from the top view. So I'll just change the Y to be 2 20, sorry, and the Z to be 0 and the rotation on the X to be 90 and on the Y to be 180, just inverted. So now we're looking down. And so that is done. Now I'm just going to create a script. So inside the assets, I'll create a new folder. I'll call it scripts. And inside that, I'll create a new C sharp uh, file and we'll call it map. Once that created, I'll drag it to the map game object we just created, assign it to it. I'll just drag it in and then click on the game object to make sure the script is there. Then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. So inside the script file, I added two namespaces, the networking, Unity Engine Networking and the systems because we're going to use them. And then I created a number of public variables. Uh, one is called access token, token. That's where we're going to 
uh, add the token we just created in Mapbox through your Mapbox account. And then uh, we'll have uh, enum for the style. And then, uh, so we assign the map style uh, using the enum uh, by default to streets, but you could change that in the editor. So it just gives you different options that Mapbox allow. And then we have e another enum for the resolution and we picked it by default to be low. And the uh, bounding box, it's uh, in a form of uh, array of doubles and it, it, it's the format would be first element would be the low minimum or, or sorry, the longitude, minimum longitude. That's, or in other words, the button left corner and then the latitude of that corner. And then the top right corner or uh, long uh, or, or the upper uh, point that we seen here of that point, that's the third and fourth object. Uh, uh, element in the array. So the third would be longitude and the fourth would be the latitude over here and here. And then uh, we have a, a string or array um, uh, 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 which, which it's, it's translate the, uh, the, the, this, the map style into string that is uh, in a format that the Mapbox API would accept. And then when you have, we have the URL that we're gonna uh, add the URL and uh, uh, integrate or combine all the requests to the Mapbox ABI in. And we have material that's for the, uh, that it's the material for the uh, plane we created in the editor. And then we could assign the texture of that material to be the map we're getting uh, as a result of the request to the Mapbox ABI. And so that's the map width and height in pixels. And it's a number between one and maximum 1,280. And uh, so in the start uh, method, uh, we are gonna call the match plane to screen size method over here and what does that method do is uh, getting the screen resolution of the uh, unity uh, view editor when you run the code so when you we run the code it will get the view uh, resolution uh, which is the width and height and then it matches the plane scale uh, the plane that we added over here it matches its scale to the view uh, scale, so auto, auto, it will be done automatic. Uh, sorry, to the to the view aspect ratio, the width and height, and height, and then it will adjust the uh, you know the map width in pixel and height in pixel we defined earlier. It will reassign them based on the view uh, size or view aspect ratio. So we know the maximum is 1,280 uh, pixels and it will proportion the other uh, dimension accordingly. So if the aspect ratio is bigger than one, which means that the width is, is bigger than the height of the view, then the width would be the maximum and the height would be uh, its value would be proportionate to the aspect ratio of the view. And on the opposite side, if the uh, height is bigger than the width, then the height of the map in pixel would be bigger, the biggest, and then proportionally the width would be. Okay, so that's for the match plane to screen uh, and uh, uh, method. And then and uh, then we'll, we will gonna check uh, if the game object, in this case, the plane that we added in the editor, uh, it, if it has, uh, if it does, uh, if it, if it uh, doesn't have mesh renderer, because we need that mesh renderer to assign material and texture. If it doesn't have, then we add the component of mesh renderer. If it does, then we just skip that part. And then we get, uh, we define a map material variable over here. Uh, it's a private variable and it, it's, we create a new uh, material to it and uh, it's a, uh, we, as, we, we create a new material of sh and the shader would be unlit so that we don't have lighting, weird lighting in the map. And then we're gonna get the component of mesh render and assign this material to it to be this map material we just started. And then we start a core routine here and uh, which is called get uh, map box. And uh, so what does the core routine a Mapbox uh, method does? It's 
get our URL, which is a string, and this is the default uh, API string, and then in, in which we combine our variables. So the map style, uh, uh, style we uh, created over here, whether it's light or uh, dark or a street view or outdoor or satellite. And then this would be default to be static. And then we uh, pass in the bounding box, uh, which is, uh, we, we, we talked about it here. So we ba pass its first, second, third, and fourth uh, elements. And then the map width in pixel and map height in pixel, we also integrated into URL and that would be a co or assign its value based on the view or screen proportion over here. We just went through it. And then the access token, it will be passed here as a variable because the access token we have in the uh, Mapbox uh, account, developer account. And uh, then we uh, yield the return of, uh, we have a request uh, Unity web request called www, and we sent, we set, uh, we pass the URL to it that we created here, and then we return the uh, or yield the return of send web request. And if there's an issue with the web request, we have uh, an error and we could debug it. Otherwise, uh, we get the game object, which is the plane, and get its component mesh renderer component, assign the material, the set, and set its texture to be. We're just going to name it uh, uh, name text and then uh, we use the download handler texture and the www.unity uh, web request dot download handler dot texture. So we get the texture from uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the map box request we have and assign it to be the texture of the map. And then uh, I'll just here, uh, lastly, we have a uh, uh, a public uh, method called generate map on click and that will we will attach it to a button so once the user click the button this uh, get map uh, uh, box uh, core routine would be called will be started and so we could use that whenever we change the uh, value of the maps uh, in the editor and we want to update it we just press the button so yeah this is the all the code needed and uh, if I save and go back to the editor in the editor we could now assign the button to the code so uh, or, or to the method we just uh, uh, talked about in the code so I'll press uh, on click plus event and then because the script is attached to this game object map so I'll just drag the game object so we could access its script file and its method and the script file called map and the method called generate map on click and uh, so uh, if I click the map, you could see the public variable we declare there over here and the access token is empty. And remember, we need to copy and base the uh, access token from uh, our, uh, or from your uh, Mapbox developer account. So I have, my, I'll just go to my developer account, copy the access token and come and paste it here. And so that is done now, and I could just uh, click play. And you see the map is here, and the, and the map, uh, the one that is generated is just its corner based on the uh, corner we specified over here, map box corner. So these two elements is this bottom corner and the other two elements are the long and lat of this top corner. And I could just uh, uh, make it full HD to make it bigger. And so uh, now if we just change, uh, then later uh, you could paste the, the, the lat and long of the corners you are after. It just happened I put that in Sydney, around Town Hall uh, in Sydney, but you could add the longitude and latitude of the corners of the area you uh, you are after here, and then um, do all, whatever change uh, you're after, like changing that to satellite or outline. And once you want to update, just click the generate map 
uh, button and the map would update accordingly. Um, yeah, so that's it. This is how we uh, can uh, use map box with, uh, bound, uh, with the bounding box in Unity and C Sharp. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.